What's up everyone, Jesse here today. I'm gonna do something very interesting that I never thought in a million years that I would do because it doesn't seem safe, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's called the Tide Pod Challenge, guys. I'm gonna put one of these in my mouth and I'm gonna just eat it because that's what the challenge wants. So I'm gonna do it. You guys ready for this? <clears throat> All right, here we go. No, not doing it. You know why? Because Tide Pods, they're laundry detergent. They're not something you eat. And I don't know where, I don't know how this became a challenge. But it doesn't need to be a challenge, now does it? It's ridiculous. And whoever thought it was a good idea to eat one of these should be shot. Whoever thought it was a good idea to make eating one of these a challenge should be shot. Now, my one concern is, where are the parents in all these challenges? I, as a parent, would never let my kids go near the cabinet, let alone put one of these in their mouth. That cabinet has locks. And I certainly do not keep the laundry detergent in access for them to grab these, put them in their mouth because of an internet challenge. Now, you people need to remember, this day and age, the internet influences young kids and teenagers. It's very apparent. Just look at the Kylie Jenner lip thing. Look at the um, ice bucket challenge thing. Look at everything. Though the ice bucket challenge did do something. But the lip thing didn't do anything. But I'm just using examples. The internet influences people very highly. Now you've got morons on the internet putting stuff like this in their mouth and chewing it. Just because it looks like some kind of gel candy like a gummy worm on the top. In that it's blue and green. It doesn't mean... That it's good for you. Don't eat it. You see this stuff in the back? That's soap. That's soap. It cleans your laundry. Would you go and put soap in your mouth? No. The only time I've ever had soap in my mouth, it was put there by my parents when I was a kid because I said something bad. That's the only time I put had soap in my mouth. And I didn't like it. Why would I be convinced that I was going to eat this and like it? Someone please explain to me why the Tide Pod Challenge is a good idea. So parents, listen to me. Do yourselves a favor. Okay? Hide your laundry detergent high up high so your kids don't find it. Or hide it all together because teenagers can be clever. You know they will. Don't let them eat this because you're going to have problems afterwards. Why? Because you're probably going to have to bring them to the hospital for poison. Don't let your kid eat Tide Pods. It's not going to end well for anybody. Everyone's going to fail this challenge. I don't know how you even pass it. Are you supposed to stomach it? I hear that this plastic, it disintegrates. And it's a carnicogen as it disintegrates. And it could actually even kill your kid. Don't eat them. Be smart. Lead the way. Luckily for me as a parent, I can save my kids from total failure of life. Like this crap. But there's already unfortunate kids and teenagers out there that have already done this challenge and are probably in the hospital or have been to the hospital or got very sick because their parents allow this. So all I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, please do not do the Tide Pod Challenge. It's not cool. It's not safe. This is Jesse and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, click the bell, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. No Tide Pod Challenge.